Lost media enthusiasts often see a category come up that invigorates the sense of mystery. Existence unconfirmed. How can a piece of media vanish to the point where it's questionable whether or not it existed in the first place? It's fascinating to talk about things that have small amounts of evidence of whether or not they were around. Who knows? Maybe one day, centuries from now, my videos or your videos could fall under that category. So today, I wanted to combine two of my main interests, lost media and cartoons, to give some insight into some very obscure topics. I know what you're thinking. But Braden Insane, this episode exists. I have it on DVD and iTunes. Yes, the SpongeBob Season 3 episode, Doing Time, exists. But there's something strange about it. In the episode, Tom Kenny is credited as voicing the character of Mrs. Puff's father, despite the character never making an appearance in the episode. This is strange because it's not very obvious how he would even fit into the plot of the episode. For those that don't know, the episode is about Spongebob trying to get Mrs. Puff out of prison, despite the fact that she actually likes prison. Allegedly, Tom Kenny recorded his lines for this character before the scene with him got cut, but there's no footage, screenshots, or audio of the scene online. We have no idea if it even exists. The only evidence is this episode's credits and word of mouth. For this, I tend to lean on the side that this footage does exist, but I wouldn't be surprised if the lines were never recorded and the scene was cut at an earlier stage of the episode's production. The Diary of Wimpy Kid books and movies are known for their comedic stories about the life of middle school student Greg Heffley. What's lesser known is that the sixth book in the series, Cabin Fever, was supposed to receive an animated holiday special adaptation. Not much is known about this special, and the only evidence of the special's existence is an interview with the author Jeff Kinney, in which he alludes to its existence. Fans are going to want to know what's next uh, for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Are we going to see more films? Are we going to see more books? I think that it's likely that this is the last live-action version of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but you never know. And we might, you know, recast one day and come up with new actors and bring in new actors to play the parts of these characters. Uh, but I'm hoping to make an animated holiday special, so I think the next life for Greg Heffley is in animation. In another interview, Kinney suggests the special would be slated for a 2014 release on Fox. However, there is no record of this release ever happening, and if it did happen, there are no screenshots or clips of the special at all. It's possible that an animated series based on the books is planned or even being produced, but there is very little information about how much of that was derived from the Cabin Fever special, if the Cabin Fever special got very far in production in the first place. Nickelodeon is one of the largest producers and distributors of children's media in the world. It's no surprise, then, that they'd have a presence in many countries around the world. One of them is surprisingly absent today, but not from lack of previous existence. Japan. Nickelodeon Japan was a TV station in Japan from 1998 to 2009. For unknown reasons and with little warning, Nickelodeon Japan shut down in September of 2009, on the same day that Nickelodeon changed its branding to the logo we have today. We have no idea why this date in particular was chosen, and no concrete reason has been given for the channel's disappearance. Nickelodeon Japan in and of itself would be considered lost media, but the video of the shutdown is considered lost media as well. Although, three videos exist claiming to be the shutdown of the channel. In this first video, we see the channel cut off in the middle of a bumper, which is rather suspicious. Usually, these would happen in the middle of time slots, not between them, which is when I'd imagine they'd cut off a TV station. <laughs> In the second video, we see that the station logo lingers after the station is cut off, and remains on the colored bar screen which is faded from black, which makes no sense. 
all of these scream that the video has been altered or edited in some way. In the third video, this one is most widely accepted as the real ending, with the text that reads, This channel does not exist in Japanese. This one could be fake, but it's the most convincing of the three. We may have already just watched the ending to the TV station, or it may be completely lost. It's kind of unclear.